Dear brothers and sisters, this is Christopher. In this video, I want to share with you a dream that I had this morning on the 7th of November 2018. And the dream was that I was riding a motorcycle and I was um, uh, doing a wheelie and like going uphill at the same time and then like basically I was like doing tricks on a motorcycle and I was like somehow being able to like jump around on this like trail bike and there was some other people with me and um, started to jump over things and jump onto objects and while wheeling and um, then I ended up jumping um, kind of onto someone's car and um, recklessly I didn't mean to do it but um, and I damaged his car and then I like once I realized that I damaged his car and he was in the car, I quickly like sped off on the motorcycle and then he was like uh, coming after me in the car and I was like riding away really fast and trying to escape and um, I rode off road and then like jumped off this like big jump and uh, then ended up like leaving the bike behind and going down near this river and going through a fence and then running away. I was like running from this guy. And then I thought I'd get away from him because uh, he couldn't follow in his vehicle. And then I was running along this like, I guess like this sewer area, this concrete area. And then it went into this building and I was like, and then I looked behind me and I saw he was like running after me with a machete. And then I went inside and I was running and I was like, and then all of a sudden he was like, um, he was like right behind me, like he like teleported and then went through these rooms and I was still running and running and then like all of a sudden he just was like in the next room and then I ran and then he was like in front of me and then he finally like confronted me and he came up and um, so it wasn't like a real man who was chasing me, it was like a, it was like a demon pretty much. And I said to him, once he confronted me, I said, I'm really sorry for damaging your car. Um, I will pay for the damages and the loss of your time. I'm really sorry. And then once I said that, um, the whole scene changed and I was staring at a wall, just like a regular wall like behind me. And I saw a little bug, a little like caterpillar, very small, and it started like frantically like crawling away out of like out of the sight, out of my sight that I was looking at the wall, and I knew it was a demon. So I like reached forward with my finger and squished it. So the Lord does that with me. He represents. Um, demons through like spiders and insects and bugs in my dreams that um oftentimes they try to escape me and run away and sometimes i'm able to squish them and when i squish them it's usually it's usually to do with the fact that there's a hidden evil or a hidden problem or something that could come up within my heart that has been exposed and crushed and that is something that happens through the refining of the Lord. And um, he represents that to me in dreams. In a, often, often he does that. So what this was, was essentially that if you do not um, say you're sorry, if you do not apologize for the wrongs that you have done to others, then the demons will be given permission to bring judgment upon you they will be given permission to go after you so then right after the scene of me squishing the bug on the wall um, I was thinking in my mind oh yes that's that's what I was thinking in my mind the thoughts I just conveyed to you and then and then I saw I was standing there and I saw like members of his family like running past and they also had weapons they're all like hunting to kill me or to get me or whatever and then it turns out like they all forgot where they were uh, so they all forgot the reason why they were even there and I became invisible 
So that further confirms that um, once you have repented, this is what it is. It's repentance of the things that you have done wrong to others. And um, I, in fact, apologized to the person. But in the dream, it was like it was a demon. So um, what that, I believe, represents to me is that um, when you do not apologize for the things you have done to people, um, the demons will be given power to come after you for judgment purposes. And um, what that is, is basically a lack of repentance over something in your life. And um, when I apologized, I wasn't apologizing to the man because I don't think it was the man. I believe it was a demon because he was like being transported around and all this stuff. And I couldn't escape him no matter what I did. So that is basically saying that you cannot escape the consequences of the wrong that you do except by repentance. That is the only way of escape. And it's the same in the scripture. It's the only way to escape destruction and judgment, repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. Now, it is important in part of the purification and sanctification process that you apologize both to the Lord and to others for the things that you have done wrong to them. Now, I'm not sure if um, you need to go to every single person and apologize for the things you have done to them. I believe that that is a good thing to do. But in this dream, it may have been conveying both of those things, that uh, my repentance was to this, um, I said sorry to the man, but he was basically like a demon coming after me, which was like a repentance before the Lord. And that stopped the demons coming after me, and I became invisible. And the judgment, I passed over. So the judgment passed over me because of repentance. But I did actually say that I would uh, fix the damage that I caused and pay back the damage and for the man's time that he lost. So that also implies that I actually rectified the situation in in the flesh, not just apologizing to God, but I went and made amends. So I believe it's both things that you need to repent before the Lord and also uh, seek to make amends and seek the Lord for how you may do that or what you should do and to give you the strength to do that. So that's an important dream. So the Lord is showing that these unrepented for Things in our lives, these unrepented for wrongs, they can be a source of judgment against us where the enemy is allowed or given permission or given authority to bring judgment upon us for our lack of repentance. But when we repent, we are passed over in the judgment and we are no longer visible to the enemy for their um action against us so repentance is so important our lord is very merciful without his mercy and forgiveness none of us would go to heaven none of us could make it so we all need we all need him and um, be faithful to your high priest our lord jesus christ and know that he is our high priest to the Father, and um, He is the one who saved us, and He is the one who wiped away our sins by His blood. So remember this, and remember what the Lord has done for us, and that um, He is the mediator between us and the Father, and that our sins should be confessed to God, and that we should apologize for the wrongs we have committed. So that's what I wanted to share. Um, so do that, do that and make full repentance to God of all of the wrongs that you have committed, whatever comes to mind and whatever does come to mind. Repentance is not just a one-time thing. It is a continual process that purifies you and that sanctifies you by the Holy Spirit and by the Lord. So that is a requirement. To walking the narrow path, it is a requirement to being holy as the Lord 
calls us to be holy. So I wanted to share that with you. And this, um, this dream that I believe is very significant. So um, may God bless you and your families, your brother in Christ, Christopher. <laughs>